Firefighters on the Greek island of Rhodes say they expect wildfires to get worse today as temperatures rise. Thousands of people have been evacuated from homes and hotels on the island. Three hotels have reportedly burnt down and many others are in the danger zone. Private boats have joined the Greek Ghost Guard, picking people up from beaches on the east of the island. The fires have been burning for five days now. The country's deputy fire chief says the blazes in roads are the most difficult Greece is facing. As Adama Shiri reports from the capital, Athens. They came for blue skies, but met orange haze. Tourists have fled their resorts as fires engulfed parts of roads. We were told by the police that we had to evacuate the building because the, um, the, the air was just unbreathable. It had turned bright orange and black uh, above, our, above our heads from the hotel, so we were evacuated immediately. So we're one of the very lucky ones. We managed to get on the authority boat, uh, and this is what we're leaving behind. That's the beach. Thousands were evacuated by land and by sea as buildings were consumed by flames in the south. Some hotels burnt down altogether. And yet a number of tourists decided to shelter in place. We had a national alert saying the area was being evacuated, but we were being told at that time that our hotel wasn't. Um, we locked ourselves up in our room. We had people sort of running past on the road, hundreds of people filing down to the beach, asking for water, wet towels. The fire service has told the BBC it apologises for what it called a mess but insisted they are trying their best in difficult conditions. Rhodes' abundance of trees makes it a popular destination for tourists. However, that is exactly what makes wildfires so likely and just so difficult for firefighters to respond to. People are living very different realities across Greece. There are those who are battling wildfires, there are those who are forced to evacuate, but then there are people like the locals behind me who are coming here for the golden hour of the beach to escape the heat. But this is high season in Greece, and some tourists are finding that they're not getting everything they were expecting. Temperatures are set to break records. Forecasters say this could become the hottest July in 50 years. These extreme weather conditions mean the threat of wildfires is not over. Firefighters are on high alert. When asked by the BBC whether Sunday would bring better news for the island and the country, the fire service had a simple answer. No, it will be worse. As a Mashiri. And our reporter, Azadeh Mashiri, that you heard there in that report, joins us live now from Athens. Uh, good morning to you, Azadeh. Um, how is it so far today? Obviously, a lot of the uh, fire services are awaiting to have to deal with those uh, wildfires. Well, I spoke to the fire service only moments ago, and they actually said that the winds have fanned the flames and the fire has now spread. It's now spread uh, all the way east of Rhodes. Uh, it, they have to evacuate three more villages now, including Lindos, which is a very popular tourist destination. And they're expecting to evacuate around 1,200 people today. They've said that because of the weather conditions, because of the heat, the rising temperatures, the humidity and the winds, they do expect that the situation will get worse uh, and that this isn't something that will suddenly become contained. Uh, but keep in mind, they do also have fires uh, across the country. Uh, they've said that they have around 65 to 75 fires every single day. But they did say that the fire on roads, the fire that's been burning for days now, uh, is the most difficult one to respond to. How long are they expecting or are they forecasting this to continue for? They believe that this could happen, this could continue for a few days. Keep in mind that uh, Greece is about to be hit by another heat wave and it's about to break temperature records. They're saying, uh, as you mentioned, that this uh, could be the hottest July in 50 years. They're saying this heat wave could be the longest one they've ever experienced in Greece's recorded history, up to 17 days. So when it comes to the wildfires, while wildfires are something that Greece has experienced before, and certainly uh, the fire service told me that roads is always a problem for them because of the greenery, because of the tall pines, 
it makes it all so difficult for them to respond to, even though those are the exact reasons why tourists are so attracted to the island. Uh, they are st the experts are still saying that this extreme weather is becoming more severe and more frequent because of climate change, because of our warming planet. And uh, locals that we've spoken to uh, have said that they can tell this is different. It's so hot, it lasts so long, and for them, this is definitely not normal. Okay, Azadema Shuri, thank you very much indeed for that.